The unicorn lived in a lilac wood, and she lived all alone. She was very old, though she did not know it. And she was no longer the careless color of sea foam, but rather the color of snow falling on a moonlit night. But her eyes were still clear and unwearied, and she still moved like a shadow on the sea. Hi guys, today I'm here to review The Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle. So the Last Unicorn is about a unicorn, and she discovers that she's the last of her kind, and that all the other unicorns have disappeared, so she sets off on a journey to figure out what happened to the rest of the unicorns. Along the way, she meets Schmendrick, a hapless magician, and Molly Grew, who is a cook for a band of outlaws. Together they set out to discover what happened to the rest of the unicorns. They find out that the unicorns have been driven into the sea by the Red Bull. The Red Bull is employed by King Hagrid. So they set off on a journey to King Hagrid's castle to try and figure out why he's captured these unicorns and set them free. I really like this book. It's a really good kind of fantasy fairy tale novel. I think anyone who liked The Princess Bride would be really into this. It's got the same kind of like epic adventure quality to it. The writing is gorgeous. There were so many times where I had to stop and dog ear pages because I just loved the writing. Um, I think it's a really underrated book. I think it deserves a lot more notoriety than it gets. Um, I think it's, for me, it's right up there with The Hobbit and Tolkien and it deserves to be read more than it has been. The Last Unicorn was also made into a movie in the 80s by Rankin and Bass. Um, if you haven't seen it, I grew up watching it. If you haven't seen it, it's beautiful. It's kind of like an interesting mix of like Western animation and anime. It's a beautiful film. And after watching it, hearing any song by America will make you cry, but it's worth it. Um, yeah, that's it for my short review of The Last Unicorn. I have to go now. I'm being picked up. I'm going to dinner. And uh, thanks for watching.